and I went up to bed and I killed all three while I was sleeping. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while, about a month. I haven't posted anything. Got very busy with life. Um, my kids started school and it just wrecked my schedule. So a lot of things have changed with the Red Sea Reefer 350. Let me fill you guys in on what happened. Here's the tank as is. The last episode, I picked up three anemones. Um, I think they were rose bubble tip anemones and I placed them all right here. I picked them up Sunday evening and I acclimated them and put three right here and I went up to bed and I killed all three while I was sleeping. So what happened was um, they were on the rock that the seller gave me and I placed the rock here and some of them moved and I thought they got positioned into the crevices and everything and lights went out and I went to sleep and how I have this wave maker right here one end is pointed up and the other end is pointed down and I had it on full blast if you guys seen my other videos on the wave maker I had it full blast um, creating a lot of waves but it also created this kind of vortex action right here um, towards the end so what I assumed happened was that um, the bubble tips released their grip on the the rock and they all got pushed over to this end and sucked into the wave maker all three of them so I basically burned $100 within five hours because I woke up I didn't see any bubble tips anywhere um, not even the whole body it got shredded up so fine that um, I couldn't even find a, a big piece of the body just the little tips everywhere on the bottom of the glass and I did a water change and it kind of blew up my um, tank I got um, this bloom if you see on the rocks it's all nasty dino flatulates or whatever um, dino for short so it's all of my rock got covered in this brown gunk and I'm barely recovering right now um, one side I um, turned off the lights to see if it would help me out and it looks like it's dying back and I gotta update you with the new anemones that I picked up so right when I killed all three of my anemones I went back to the same seller and I asked him to sell me one and when I met him up he was like Dude, should I report you to the anemone police for um, murdering all three of them? <laughs> I didn't have uh, $100 at the time, so I picked up one for 40 So I was kind of slowed down. Um, I was kind of impatient and wanted a whole bunch of anemones all over the place. So I picked up three for 100 which is a deal. But I'm down with money right now, so I picked up one for 40 and it was this one right here and within two weeks um, he kind of ripped himself apart and there's another one underneath if you guys could see it's kind of dark he's underneath right here um, right behind the mushroom he's underneath so I it's split into two, so I'm kind of breaking, almost breaking even. And it looks like this one right here is gonna split again. You see towards the bottom, it's kind of separating out into two pieces, so we'll keep an eye on it. Um, this green one right here, I picked up from Live Aquaria way back. It's a Vietnam um, green, anemone it has like little speckles on it and everything but it was very small i've been feeding it shrimp and um reef roids. it's getting pretty big this new one in the center 
I think it's a rainbow bubble tip. It's way brighter than the rose bubble tip that I picked up. This one right here, under lights, is just glowing. Uh, you could spot it what, um, across the room, just glowing in your tank. And if you look closely, the tips, it's like a dark purple. I'm assuming that it's a rainbow. Every time I'm meeting up with local sellers, they're just selling it to me as an anemone. So it's like, they don't know the strain or the lineage. It's just, this was sold to me as an anemone, a sea anemone. And this one was sold to me also as a sea anemone. But when they're selling it to me, they're selling it to me for very good prices. Like this one right here, I picked up for 30 bucks. And this one right here is for $40. But when you're looking online, people are wanting like $150, $200 for these rose color um, bubble tips. They're calling it rainbow, um, inferno, afterburn. I don't know, it's just marketing gimmick. But I'm very happy with this one right here. I'm hoping that it'll split for me. Like this one. I think this one is about to split again, but we'll keep an eye on it. Uh, I went to Reef uh, Palooza in Anaheim. I'm out here in Southern California. And I didn't film much there. I didn't film at all. I just like was kind of like a spectator. They had a lot of people with um, frags selling. What I didn't like was vendors with um, frag tanks out there and they didn't have any price at all um, to their frags. But I picked up mainly from Aqua SD. I bought from these guys before. Most of my um, frags in the Lagoon 25 are from Aqua SD. And I'm just kind of in a hunt for Zoas at the moment and I this whole entire frag rack right here is from Aqua SD I think these are super science Saiyans um, other chaos Bam Bams Gob stoppers uh, I think these are scrambled eggs, the, the yellow. And the one at the end right here, I think it's called jungle juice. And since I picked up these um, six frags, or is it one, two, three? Yeah, six frags from Aqua SD. I kind of got the Zoa bug hitting me. Um, that Monday, I found a local seller and picked up this entire rack right here. I need better racks, guys. But I picked up this entire rack right here. I'm not gonna go through all of the names because I don't know them yet. But I wrote them down and we can always look them up. But I'm just picking up a lot of Zoas, just collecting all the different types right now. Pretty good prices when you find them locally compared to online but yeah I'm um, with this tank I still want to keep it as an anemone tank or I'm having thoughts of picking up another um, rimless tank like a Red Sea or a water box to maybe replace the Lagoon 25 and move the anemones over or even use the, the new tank as just a frag tank. Um, just frags on frags, I guess. Well, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just fighting this dino issue. <laughs> you look at my, my rocks. It looks like a piece of crap, or all my corals are on crap right now. But um, these top rocks right here, they're pretty clean. It's only because um, the anemones went to the backside, um, two of them, 
and I ended up flipping my rock upside down and then whatever area was not um, exposed to light didn't have any of that um, dyno on it and when the rock was flipped it kind of starved that dyno of light and it's just kind of dying off of the rock right now so I'm, I'm hoping that I'm recovering if you guys have any tips on how to get rid of this gunk off my rock um, please let me know in the comments section down below but yeah I'm hoping it's just a, an ugly phase right now it's like kind of dying back but we'll see in a couple of weeks and uh, I'll update you guys you guys like the content so far please be sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one